What's up? Welcome back. Cool puzzle today. We're looking at three key puzzles from uh, creator Rocky Chiara. No, there's no pun in his name. Maybe there is, uh, but there are pun in these key names, believe it or not. I don't know which ones are which, but uh, apparently there are Tokyo, uh, Rocky 2, and Boston Key Party these three keys here. I'll let you pick yourself up off the floor after those jokes, okay? So keys are innately mysterious, I feel. Like locks in themselves are really cool, but keys, I feel, hold a different type of mystery. By the way, we announced the winners of the contest that we had Friday. We announced them on our Instagram, at first.shop. Go ahead and check it out. If you like, maybe you won. I don't know how I segued into that from keys, but this is pretty smooth. Before we get into today's video, uh, a quick word from our sponsors. Thank you to Cove Audio for sponsoring this portion of the video. This is the Commuter 2 by Cove Audio. Upon close inspection, this thing looks like a regular Bluetooth speaker. Obviously this has all the great features in a Bluetooth speaker that you would want, such as 360 degree sound, water resistant. It's got a seven hour battery life, which is also really dope. It's got an amazing subwoofer in here and you could be up to 32 feet feet away from the speaker and still uh, connect to your device. That's not the greatest feature. Here's what really sold me on this thing. I was already blown away by the quality of the sound of this thing, but the fact that you can split them up and now get stereo sound on either side of you, a left and right speaker is pretty cool when you're listening to a movie on your tablet or your phone or your computer, or you're just listening to some music with some friends. It creates that extra little atmosphere, which is really, really dope. And right now, Cove Audio is giving my viewers 65% off, I think more than 65% off. You go to coveaudio.com slash Ramsey 65. I left the link below. Click now while supplies last. You guys can go ahead and get your own commuter to by Cove Audio. Uh, guys, without any further ado, like, subscribe, and let's get into solving these three key puzzles. Here we go. These are three amazingly cool key puzzles. That's something about key puzzles that just makes them, I think, cooler than lock puzzles. Keys are definitely cool. Key gang all the way. Hashtag key gang down in the chat. You got his, you got his, uh, signature here there you go you got a signature right there one there and one there so rocky chiara um i don't know i don't know which one we should try and solve first i would say i'll let you guys pick i'll wait down in the comments let me know which one i should oh that one okay perfect uh let's start the timer all right so the thing with key puzzles is that you you need to take obviously the ring off of the key that's the case in all three of them here we got to take the ring off uh but what uh what's so special about this key that the ring comes off already i'm twisting this thing so this thing turns it's letting me know that what else am i doing this looks like it moves a little bit there are multiple seams in this uh in this thing here so you you know there's a seam here 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 maybe here here so it is kind of throwing you some red herrings at the same time. And this shouldn't be very difficult. It shouldn't take me long at all. I'm, you know, I'm guessing it's not gonna take me long because key puzzles usually work under the same few principles. Okay, so that turns all the way around. Interesting. And something's up with this head here because that moves too, just a slight bit. Hmm. Anything special with the ring? You never know. Sometimes they like to trick you like that, you know? Ring looks good. Okay, so if I turn this. Oh, there you go, see? It just moved. Why is it moving like that? Oh, so this end here is uh, actually spring-loaded. So a lot of times you'll get keys where this pushes in, but uh, obviously it's not pushing in. And if that pushes in, usually the ring obviously can come out of there, right? Uh, another way to do it would be to unscrew this or just get rid of this end knob. But this one's extending, which is interesting. So obviously extending, it's not going to help the ring get free here, but it probably will unlock something over here. So we're doing that, we're turning. Nothing's really happening. Oh, oh. Look what we have here. We have a bit of a gap. Oh, is that what that's for? That's strange. I've never seen that before. Check that out. So by pulling this, uh, this thing comes out here. Hold on, let me line that up for you. This side here comes out. 
which I bet is just enough room for that ring to get through. Boom. And now it comes out. It's gotta come out absolutely all the way. And then the key, then the ring can be free. And back, oops. And back in here. And then you pull this and you put that back to normal. And then you can twist it. Now it's back into place. So this part had no business coming out. I'm glad I didn't pull harder. I feel, I feel like I would have broke that. But uh, that's pretty cool. That's one, one down. Let's go for key number two. Uh, let's do this one here. So I like that. Just a neat little touch. So again, same basic shape of the key. And the reason for that is there are many, many seams here. Uh, and again, these seams can be used to either unscrew, pull, or push in to release a mechanism somewhere allowing the key to be free. So in this case, we're gonna go all the way to the end. And so here I thought, see, you can push it in a little bit. This end bit does not push in, but instead it pushes in through here. So now how? Pushes in through here, right there. Oh, and this thing moves? This middle part here? Oh, it does move. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. That's kind of cool. Now the ring can come out. So. Oh, I see. So this thing's spring loaded. There's a, there's this pin that goes up in here and there's a spring on the end of that. So that is spring loaded, but it, and then it is sort of slotted into the other one. And what's holding it together is this cuff, this, uh, this, this little brass cuff or whatever, this metal cuff. And that can be twisted. And if it's twisted, see how there's like a little, oh, this is actually kind of cool. Do you see that L right there, that L? So that is basically in here, you have a little pin. And so you're going to, the pin's going to enter that L and you're going to turn here and that that's gonna lock it. So very simple mechanism using the spring here, which is really, really cool. And uh, and just, just a little lock here, a little L that allows you to get in there and, uh, and lock it. So if I push down and I rotate this back, now the opposite way, it'll free. So very cool. Um, let's get the ring back in there. I like that one a lot. That's a cool little solution. Not too complicated. Very simple to understand. Easy to comprehend, but it gives you a nice little, you know, it does, it gives you a nice uh, view of, of uh, the, the craftsmanship, like uh, the, the ingenuity, the idea that went behind the lock. Because that's really all, you know, puzzles are. It's just unique little ideas. Ideas that, you know, principles that maybe is new or, or, or changed in some way or adapted. Uh, so this one here, Oh, this one's interesting because it doesn't have all those bells and whistles like these ones had all these little uh, cuffs and 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 and, uh, and different parts in the end. This one's only got a seam here, and that's it. One seam. So my guess is it has to do with this. So this doesn't push in, doesn't pull out, doesn't screw or unscrew. Huh. Oh, so it's the ring. Okay. So the ring. Ah. That's cool. So the ring's going to unscrew here. I saw that because in the inside there's like a little like a little gap. It's not completely plumb with uh thing. So now this should come out. No. Huh. And the ring's the same. The ring is Hmm. So I can even put the last sort of pin on the key into that hole, giving me a little bit more like room to maneuver. It would go in, so it would, you know, bend another 10 degrees in there, but yeah, not enough to get me out. So there's something, there's definitely something up with the end of this here. Hmm. Oh, it just happened to be a little bit stuck. <laughs> I'm 
but that definitely unscrews, which then would release the ring and see how the ring, oh, this is interesting. So see how the ring doesn't come out right now? You gotta put that little piece here into the hole where the uh, where that bolt was in the ring. So once that goes in there, now it can go up and over. It gives it enough room to maneuver over. So it goes back. This one, I believe, yep, that was here. I'm not gonna try and screw it in there too tightly. And this one goes on here. And that is that, three ring puzzles in what, under 11 minutes? I like that because these are the type of puzzles that uh, I would definitely have laying around for friends to play with. These are the exact type of puzzles that would just chill here on my desk. People were like, what's that? And I'm like, oh, you gotta get the ring out. And I would go do something and they would and they would be here like, and uh, maybe throw, throw it against the wall or something, I don't know. Uh, there you go. Not gonna do it. That was a lot of fun. I mean, super simple. These are, the, the reason I really like these though, however, because these are the type of things that I would generally leave in a tray like this. Look at this, see this nice little tray here? Thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We'll be back Friday with another video. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new here, and we'll see you then. Peace. Ah.